dear viewers you know that we have tried many times to solve our that failure i mean other uh, our beam column failure and beam column connection failure in our previous lecture bus but uh, we have tried many time uh, by uh, changing our data perfectly but uh, we have failed every time so we have uh, tried to change data from here but we have failed because uh, we need to increase our welded thickness little bit but uh, we are unable to change the thickness because as per design our, our design code it's have uh, taken the i section is w2250 okay height of the beam so uh, it's not okay actually because um, uh, for that as uh, the thickness i mean height of the beam is 225 uh, 250 that's why we cannot increase our welded thickness anymore so that's why we have to increase that section so in this lecture i'm just going to show you that so click okay now uh we know that our structure is okay but i will unlocking model okay so i'll click okay so when it's done then i'll escape so now uh, you have to select one story from here it's already selected otherwise you have to select one story and from here i'll select that on and if I right click just see here our that our all section here are auto this, okay 250 so you can change that as per your requirement from here okay and uh, it's working auto beam selection tools to uh, I have used auto beam I have selected many beams and uh, our software will select the more economical section for our design purpose okay but um, our for that section i section our design is okay but our connection is not okay we have tried many times to uh, without changing that section but we are not able to do that so for that uh, simply i will change that connection i mean uh, beam size so here the two 20 uh, 250 38.5 so i'll go down and I'll go I'll take a section more than it okay so here 250 and 38.5 that was our section selected section actually so I'll just take the height of our beam I'll take 300 I'll take that on okay otherwise I'll just go okay I'll take 310 I'll take that on okay I'll take that on and click okay and for that also I'll take that on 310 310 310 52 otherwise we can take the first one here 21 okay three one zero three one zero print one one then click ok and also I'll change that not 52 uh, we'll take that on 21 1 ok and then click ok so I'll es escape so it's done now you know that section that are also our previous section I'll click ok now when we have changed that I'll go in 3d when we have changed that now we'll go for run analysis again so i'll click run analysis and see what happened actually now so it is done okay it's done now so when it's done now we'll go for our uh design then uh, actually all data are already here okay so uh, uh, i mean we have defined all data in previous so simply we'll go here composite beam design okay now i'll click here a start design or check so uh, it's working for composite beam in this time just see here in this time some of our data are failing here some of our data are failing in that's that line why actually it's, it's failing so in top story only they have a reason they have a big reason 
because that on are failing because we have and uh, simply we can click here composite beam then we can see verify wall member passed so 12 con composite beams failed the design check do you want to select them so just see here there's a 12 section that have failed why it's a failed because we have changed that section okay we have changed that section here right but we do not change any section here that's why it's a fail and uh, for that we have to again go like as a previous work so I'll just click no I don't want to change that from here uh, okay um let it go and before that okay before that i'll go here we'll design our steel frame design steel frame okay and then i'll go start design check and see what happened okay after that we'll see what happened actually as per uh, still design check it is okay or not and if if okay then we'll change that composite beam section okay so wait for some time please so uh, see here in 3d our every member have passed except that two one right or that two member have failed so for that to pass that member I'll right click and see for why it's failing here you can see the ratio it's the ratio is more than one in some place you can overwrite we can change the section from here so if we click here and uh, if I select that section then I see what happened now then click OK now see here in that time or that section is okay so similarly I'll select that section right click and I'll overwrite and I'll take that section okay then okay then okay just see here now or that both section are okay even perfectly okay here its ratio is here in the in uh, it is mostly safe so now again I'll go for when it's done now again I'll go for analysis reanalysis okay actually uh, it's taking time and I'm sure that you will ace with me and you'll learn something good so when it's done now we'll go for design then our composite beam design and start design check now see everything is okay our uh, now our that section are okay also or the composite beam are okay now if we go for design steel frame design then we'll go uh, start design check and we'll see it's okay or not S now see all of our that member have also passed so if we see um, for our steel connection view all member passed so all frame have passed and if we check for composite view all member have passed so all member have passed so our, our all member have passed now we'll go for our steel connection again design so from here we can also directly go every our every data is okay actually here right our every data is okay so the beam column that us 175 so 
everywhere will not go for it I'll go 100 for that one for that one 1 0 0 okay so we can select here beam connection okay everything is default auto okay now see check on 0 0 and that is that is also on 0 0 when it's done so are all connection that are 1 0 0 for all axis it's also 100 it's also 100 now we'll go for okay okay so when it's done now we'll go for design connection yesterday design now see it's okay or not or what happens now <laughs> now see that uh, they have a point maybe that are failing so if we go in elevation view s five apply okay now uh no that one is it failing no that's that's also passing cancel so just see here now it's up automatically passing every section even with 175 millimeter welding size okay our wall frame are passing here here are all section okay so i'll just close that okay and everywhere it's also passing that is the beam connection just see here this is our beam connection right that is beam connection and that are passing beam beam connection so all of our connection have passed except our foundation so i'll just come here and i'll click here verify all connection passed just see here 377 of 389 connection have passed the design sick i mean we have um some connection that i have failed okay so i'll just go down so they have no one are passing even it's passing uh, sorry they have no one are failing even they are passing perfectly right i'll just close then i'll go down it's also passing every pointer passing here or s3 2 it's also passing here uh sorry uh, here our wall connection are passing okay but if you see here 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 all of our base plate are failing okay all of our base plate are failing so uh we have shown everything that how we'll design our connection for beam column or beam beam connection just it's very simple actually okay it's very simple here the beam uh, beam to beam connection actually okay so here the beam to beam connection right here all connection are showing that or beam to beam connection and um here all are passing so if it's f you if you see that it's failing now you have to just see you have to do the same way just if it's telling telling you it's failing because of share rupture of garter web okay then you have to do that you have to give garter web right otherwise uh, if it's tell you actually uh, for beam i'll just close that actually for beam to beam connection it will fail and for which types of phenomenon it's failing it will be it will show here design control okay it will show her and as per that option you have to change your that design connection right so actually that is the way to pass our all member and some after that simply you can click a summary and you can see control zoom you can see the design connection okay 
so here uh, it's ta uh, taking partial connection beam beam connection okay here it's telling uh, it's, it's taking the connection here the bolt size right is the bolt size and every data is available here okay this is the past past and references every reference at the ratio also just see here its ratio is very less bolt resting in single shell the ratio is very less because our all section are passing perfectly even you can uh, decrease some phenomenon from here to make your section economical right to make your section economical so here uh, your uh, detailing okay this is the uh, detailing for that connection so I'll just close that I'll just close that and I'll also close that so in our next lecture I'm just going to show that how will here this is the beam column connection and here you can see the summary this is the beam column connection and in our next lecture I'll show you that how will uh, pass our base plate failure right so thank you thank you very much uh, if you think that that was helpful for you then don't forget to subscribe to our channel and also press the bell icon so that you get every update ever first so thank you thank you very much stay still stay connected till next video